Oh no. Where did that demon hunter go? <sighs> There's so much stuff in here. They could be anywhere. Oh! <gasps> hide, hide, hide. I need a place to hide. <gasps> N no, there's nobody in here. <sighs> okay, well, I'll come out, but don't hurt me. No, 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 you have to promise not to hurt me. Well, okay, but... What if I'm a good demon? Well, there could be good demons, you don't know. What if you've been hunting good demons? Okay. Well, if I promise to be good, will you promise not to hurt me if I'm good? Because I am good. And if you were to hurt me, that would make you bad. That would make you very bad. All right. Hello. What are you looking at like that? What did you expect me to look like? Uh, no, P plenty of demons look mostly human, especially those of us who are. Well, my birth mother was human. And sort of my birth father? O okay, well, my father is a, um... An incubus. His partner is, is a succubus who wanted a child. Uh, but without souls, demons can't procreate. So she uh, s s seduced a man um, who, well, I suppose he's my birth father, and she collected his, um, well, his, his, his essence, his seed, his, yes, that, thank you. Um, she collected it, and then she brought it to my father, who corrupted it. And, and please don't ask me how it was collected or transferred to my father, because I already know far too much about my parents' private lives. Thank you very much. And so anyway, um, with the corrupted seed, my demon father visited my birth mother in night after night in her sleep in her dreams that's the way it works they visit in their dreams but also take on a human form for the um uh c collection and a disbursement of the genetic material. <sighs> anyway, um, he visited her night after night until she became pregnant. Uh, but then he also continued to visit her. It seems that uh, he was he was kind of taken with my mother, my birth mother. He. He he sort of developed a thing for her. Uh, it pissed off his partner, of course. Uh, but also uh, drove my birth mother quite mad. Uh, humans aren't well equipped to cope with nightly visitations from demons. Uh, by the time I was born, she was in a psychiatric hospital. And I was put up for adoption. Which, if you're counting, makes for my third pair of parents. <laughs> Um, and this is the part where I will pause the story for any questions before continuing 
Uh, do you have any specific questions so far? Aside from please do not ask me how they transfer. I do not want to know. Oh. Well, yes. I, I was I was part I was raised by humans partly. It, it didn't take long for the humans who took me to realize that I'm d different. Uh, the tail I was born with, um, and, and they thought it was just like one of those vestigial tails that you occasionally hear a human is born with. It's not common. Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if those people are maybe not entirely human either. Huh. Well, uh, anyway, um, it, they planned to just have it removed when I was older, but then I began to grow my horns, and that's when the humans decided they would just give me back. Uh, they they decided to uh, adopt a child from China or something. They, they They're perfectly white, but as I understand it, they said that they just wanted a child who would look more like them. Uh, oh, my father. Well, after that, he decided enough was enough. He was offended that a child of his would be returned like an ill-fitting suit. So he retook his human form to raise me himself. Uh, God literally helped me. Uh, his partner followed suit. Uh, she was no longer eager to have a child whose birth mother had unwittingly stolen the affection of her partner, so that didn't go entirely well. Uh, but it had to be on Earth, because, um, well, uh, I I'm not able to travel between this world and the netherworld, as some cambions do. Oh, yes, that's, that's what half-demons are called, cambions. Uh, so... I was raised in the mortal world by my demon parents. Can you just imagine what that was like for just a moment? It, being a kid and you're trying to make friends, but your parents keep trying to get you to corrupt them. We just wanted to play with my dolls in peace. We didn't want to play Malibu Sacrifice Barbie and Necronomicon. Yeah. Yeah, it was a challenge, but it was... It was more than just awkward. My father wants me to be evil. And my father's partner wants me to be... dead. And... I don't want either of those things. But now... She's put an idea in his head that... I need to make a sacrifice in order to just get it out of my system, graduate from goodness, you know, put my childish things behind me. I, I don't want to. And what's more, I'm pretty certain if I did, she'd make sure I was caught. If she had her way, I'd end up both evil and dead. Together. But if I don't... My father has vowed to bring me to the underworld himself, which, as I said, I'm unable to travel to and from on my own. I would be stuck down there. Uh, that's... That's why I came to find you. Oh... No, I, I don't think you do understand. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for your offer of protection, truly. I, I, I don't want you to protect me, though. I, I came looking for you, um... I, I came looking for you because you're, um, you're, you're a demon slayer? And, uh... And, and they're demons... And I, I, 
Yes. Exactly. Oh. Dear. Oh. Well... Asking someone to slay your parents is pretty evil, isn't it? Oops. Hey, Cupcakes. So many thanks today. Um, you guys made my birthday the most exceptional experience by joining me. And I, I can't thank you enough. And, and uh, you know, whoever sent the Aurora uh, on Friday, th thank you for that, because that's been on my bucket list for a while. I'm going to actually have to rethink my bucket list, because I have literally emptied it out <laughs> as of this weekend. I know that makes it sound like I, I uh, may have been thinking small with my bucket list, but no, I, I, I haven't. I've just been incredibly blessed. Most of the things that are on my bucket list were on my bucket list were things that I expected I could achieve. Let's go visit this place. Let's go do that. Let's see the Aurora. Um, but, but one that I didn't know if I would ever achieve was I, I wanted to create something positive as something good that would make people feel good and not just in a momentary satisfaction sort of way. I mean, I could create porn and that would make people feel good, but, uh, and I'm not shading porn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I wanted to create something that gave people some sort of emotional support when they needed it. And I didn't expect that I could do it alone. But I also didn't expect that I would have so many people on board and helping me with it. And over the course of the past year, the community that has grown here has been so much more than I could have expected, more than I could have hoped for, and <laughs> certainly more than I've deserved. But... um I would like to thank you all for being that community who has been always so supportive of each other and so positive and open-minded and uplifting and kind and just fucking sensational. And I see how many of you are listening without commenting. I see how many of you are on my Patreon without commenting. I see how many of you are supportive, but haven't said anything about it. You're still a part of that community. You're still part of the people who are clicking on likes and forwarding or sharing or contributing $3 as a cupcake so that I can keep this going. You're all here still listening because you are part of that very kind and very special community. And even though in the grand scheme of things this is a very small channel, it's still bigger than most will ever get. And it's also still 20,000 people, thousands every day, who come together and just let their imaginations run wild as they relax and stick around for kind words and kind sentiments and support. And if I think about that too closely, it is going to make me cry. <laughs> because let's face it, the internet can be kind of a dumpster fire sometimes. Uh, people with anonymity are sometimes not their best. But you're a bunch of people who come here 
to be your best. Even if you don't think of it that way, even if you're just hanging out listening to role plays, if you're just listening to silly little stories and bonding over geekery and a love of monster girls, you are here being, if not your best, a lot of people's best. You're here just being a friend. I really like that about you. I think I have reached out to um, all of the people who have sent me gifts for my birthday and said a personal thank you. But there are just a few that I didn't quite know how to reach. Uh, Crazy Person 23 and Luke Hammonds. And Respawns753, unless I know you by a different name on Discord or in my server, uh, in my Patreon, uh, I, I, I would like to take a moment and just say a very personal thank you for having joined for my birthday video premiere and for your kind gifts and for your kind words. And thank you. Of course, I would like to welcome Vasily VA and Charles Elder to the Patreon, and I look forward to getting to meet you and chat with you. And my very special Baker and Pound Cake tears, there's a non James SLE, <laughs> suspect Streamy is a real Neko. Uh, might have a little bit of that in me. <laughs> Harper, vive la... Paddletech Evolution, uh, Wolf9004, Wolf, Vile Miles, Succubus Slave, Malice Silo, Army Guy 007, Mr. Fabulous, Tiny the Tax Man, Meryl, Inline Flaws, Mr. Rickles, On and Nick, Always Able, Infinite Moon, Old Bean K, Kalua Bear, Forces the Swaggy Llama, Cody, Art Low, Pierce Tailish, Tomberry Shuffle, and Christian Kaleopa'a. Some of the names of some of the people who will be forever tattooed on my heart. Thank you, guys. And I hope whenever your birthday is, that you have one that is even half as good as mine was, and you will be very happy. Please take care of yourselves and be as good to yourselves as you are to me. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm getting so misty-eyed. <laughs>